the language. Now, yeah, girl, speak. You know. <laughs> my favorite youtuber now in morocco okay one of my favorite youtubers now in morocco <laughs> because the people are going to be like <laughs> <laughs> yeah like oh, i already have a favorite youtuber yeah so she's from liberia high exclusive films okay that's her youtube name that's not her real name so she's gonna introduce herself briefly so hey guys um i'm exclusive felt and i'm from liberia but my real name is felt so yeah i'm happy to be on feathers in today's video, we're talking about reasons why we love Morocco and why you should consider Morocco as your next destination in case you're thinking of somewhere to travel to. The first cities in Morocco are Casablanca, Rabat, Marrakesh, and Fez. Meknes could be considered. So, first and foremost, what I love about Morocco is the means of transport. So, the transport system in Morocco, oh my god, it's so amazing, guys. It's smooth, flexible, comfortable, affordable and very convenient so for instance back home in my country when you're traveling a journey of five hours the carrier mostly used in ghana is bus but in morocco if i'm traveling to let's say tanji we have trains and it's affordable guys and it's fast guys i'm not exaggerating so you now you can get to tanji in 15 minutes by by bus it's four hours journey so if you are considering coming you just know you are safe your movement from one city to another is going to be so smooth for you. You don't have to worry about anything happening. And tickets, train tickets are very affordable. Train stations are very neat, very nice. And you know, train stations look like airports in Morocco. And I'm not exaggerating. So I'm going to input most train stations in this video so you guys see. So Exclusive is going to give us her, her reason why she loves Morocco. The same transportation system. Mm -hmm. There are so many different ways to move around in Morocco. They have the train, they have buses, they have taxis. The taxis, they have two tap. A petit taxi is a grand taxi. When you are in a city, each city has its own taxi. The transportation system. There are so many ways to move around in Morocco. They have buses, they have trains, city trams, tram. they have taxis. The taxis, they have two tap, they have the petit taxi, and then they have the brown taxi. The brown taxi within the city is five dirhams. But when you are traveling like out of the city, it depends. Sometimes it's 12, sometimes it's 15, or it depends. And the buses too, they have the bus for the city, and then they have buses that can travel out of the city. So within the city, it's the same five dirhams. But when you are traveling out of the city, it depends on the the city that you are traveling to. For example, if you are giving from can then try to wrap it. Sometimes it's like I think 10 15 dirhams in the bus, right? So, yeah, mostly petty taxis use the control the meter. So, wherever you are going is determine how much, like the meter determines how much you are going to pay for that's something the price that is not yeah, fixed. It's, the price is not fixed, which is really good yeah. because you know, back in home in our countries, most of us they charge you, it's fixed. You are going to pay, let's say, a 10 cities, and that is it. No bargaining, no. But in Morocco, you just know, oh, the meter is going to read for me, and I know I'm going to pay less than a ten dirhams wherever I'm going. So, for instance, in Kenisha, wherever you're going in the Central View is seven dirhams, which is really cool. But outside the Central View, you pay more than that, determined by the, the counter, the counter controller. It's the, the same thing. <laughs> Who cares? It's the same thing. So, if you are a stranger, if you are new to Morocco, and you are worried about transportation system. Don't worry. It's always fixed. Oh, it's fixed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to worry if they're going to steal from you or they are going to add more money on the transport. It's good. I love that. So Morocco is known for being the one of the most tolerant of the Arab nations. The people are stable. They are friendly. They are supportive. So I think most of you have seen in my videos. Anytime I'm I'm vlogging outside. They really say hi in my videos, they really smile to me and they start speaking 
they reach out to me so that's another reason why i love morocco the people are so welcoming so in case you are wondering if you're going to be safe in morocco trust me they are so friendly they are stable they are welcoming and you don't have to worry about being i don't know like oh well yeah or welcome they open they open their arms to everyone so another reason why i love morocco which is how friendly and stable they are every friday my house neighbor and Morgan gives me couscous. Really? So today I'm waiting for the couscous. We have never received couscous <laughs> at our house. <laughs> Ramadan Karim, I'm waiting for it at 7 o'clock when they bake their fast. <laughs> That's nice. I, I want neighbors like that to bring me couscous. She always brings it to you. I'm waiting for it. Aww, that's so sweet. Even though I have a lot of Moroccan friends, the reason that I have a lot of Moroccan friends is because they are always ready to help me whenever i have a problem whenever i need something and then i call they're like where are you can we meet this place i will help you to do this and they are so friendly they are so welcoming and yeah i just love that about them they are they are nice people though is the moroccan food <laughs> if you have never <laughs> if you have never traveled to morocco or if you have never had any moroccan food you are really missing out seriously I love their couscous. I love their I want to say that what's your favorite Moroccan food? I love couscous. I too. love couscous. I, I have love... never tried it. So one time I shot that video. You have never tried couscous? I had never tried it. So last year when I started doing YouTube videos, I'm like, let me try the couscous. I'm fully in love with it. Yeah. Especially my neighbor's couscous. And we always cook that shit in our house. <laughs> the funny part is we don't like not cook the tagine, the Moroccan tagine. We cook it our own way. We learn from what we see other people doing. And then in Morocco, food are not expensive at all. So for example, if something is five dollars, you don't have to buy it five dollars. If you want it for one dollar or two dollars, they can give it to you. They sell by kilo. You don't have to buy the entire kilo. You can buy half a kilo or the amount you want. So that is one thing I really love about food. Lucy has said almost everything, but I think four major foods you should try when you're in Morocco is the couscous, tagine, uh, some street food also, what's it called? Milwi, uh, kafta, pestida. pestida. Yeah. I love pestida. Just to mention a few, you should try these foods when, when in Morocco because Morocco is known for good food also. When people are talking about development, they mean security. Like, if the country can be developed, but you don't have security. But one of the things I really love about Morocco is the security system too. You know, you can leave your, you can leave your house at 10, 11, 12, and you are 100% safe. And one thing again that I love about Morocco is they are playing close security. You don't know that they are security, but they are there. They are there. So you always feel safe. For me, that's one thing I like about Morocco too. You always feel safe. You can travel, you can go out, and you can always contact you at any time in Morocco too. Yeah, yeah. especially in Marrakesh. Even at 4 a.m., you're, you're gonna find it. So if you go out, you don't have to worry like, oh my god, what am I gonna get home? Can I find taxi? Chains yeah. are available at 12 a.m. going. So that's one thing we love about Morocco how to develop the country. So this topic, in, when I was coming to Morocco, a lot of people thought I was coming to a war zone country and they were so scared. But to my surprise, I feel safe in this country much more than me being safe in my own country. I don't know why. <laughs> if you are watching this, don't judge, but that's the honest truth. Morocco is so peaceful and it's safe. Aside a little. No, but every country has. Yeah, yes, so I think with that it's normal. But aside that, trust me, it's so safe and. Just know you are safe in this country. You shouldn't worry about it. Tourism. In case you are coming here for tourism or anything of that sort, just know you are going to be safe. You are in good hands. Yeah. In case you happen to be in Morocco, just contact me. I will take you around. I mean, we will take you around. <laughs> <laughs> we will be our tour guide. You know, we will show you all the beautiful places. Yeah. Next thing we are going to talk about is the culture. When, we were, when I was coming to Morocco, people had a whole lot of things to say. They are like, you cannot do this. You <laughs> misconceptions. Yeah, they are misconceptions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they are misconceptions. I actually have a misconception video on my channel. My goodness, guys. If you hear some of the things that people tell you about Morocco, you don't even want to come here. But then when you actually do come, you are like, why the, why did I even listen to... So if you if you have the time, just go on Google and Google Morocco. You will find a lot of good things about Morocco. You will find out that 
why people are telling you is so wrong. And is this perception they have about Arab countries? That's why I said in the beginning, Morocco is one of the safest Arab countries in the world. Yeah. Honestly, they don't think like all Arabs. And that's what I love about them. So. And then the second thing again, the dress code. People always say you have to wear the hijab thing and stuff. No, they don't force you to wear. Anything that you don't want to wear, you can dress free there. But the only thing I would advise is respect the people culture. Just because you are free to dress anyhow, it doesn't mean you should overdo it. So the dressing is a misconception. You can dress whatever way you want to dress. That's one thing too I like about Morocco. So the Moroccan culture is represented in so many ways. The arts, the music, the food, the language, and most especially the architecture. So Morocco is known for the best architecture in the world and you can tell from their train stations so my city Kenicha, the train station won the best design the best train design in the world so architecture in morocco is top notch and their culture is represented in that too which when you are coming to morocco people is like oh you know this is an arab country they speak arabic and you cannot speak arabic how are you going to live there mm -hmm. how would things be like now there are a lot of people in Morocco who speak perfect English and you are going to enjoy even speaking with them and then the language part the French and the Arabic if you don't know how to speak French and you come to Morocco and after a few months or a few years you learn the French it becomes so nice you know to know another language other than your local language yes so if you can if you didn't speak French before and you can speak French then that is a bonus for you that's a great opportunity and you have a lot of different people you learn the culture you learn the background you learn where they come from how they was brought out and you compare it to your lifestyle back home it's so nice i, I really love that too the language now yeah girl speak you know <laughs> <laughs> the best alhamdulillah <laughs> Oh my god. And most of the times, even though they can't really communicate with us in, let's say, English, they try to talk to you even in Derija or French. And I don't know, most, most of the times I'm being spoken to in Derija, so now I try to just listen and pick one or two words. So anytime I go to the episode in the local shop, I just thought, I think they pay the word. It means I'm, I'm giving me uh, one egg. Yeah. At least I'm trying, so that's one thing I love about Morocco. Yeah. How diversity it is, and if you let's say one out of ten, you find someone speaking English, yeah, and they really love to speak English. So at school, you'd want to learn the French, so you want to speak French with your Moroccan friend. He or she also wants to learn the English, English. so he or she would be speaking English with you, and that's where the communication comes from. Yeah. And these are the reasons why we love Morocco and why you should consider Morocco as your next destination. So if you happen to come to Morocco, do also check out our YouTube pages for more videos on where to visit, what to do in Morocco. And also you can contact us on our social media platforms in case you need help with anything. And I we mean it, like anything. If you want us to be your tour guide, we are available. So guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because liking the video goes a long way to help the channel. And we are so happy that you guys are supporting us. We started from nowhere, but now it looks like we are legit YouTubers. So, <laughs> and now I consider myself a YouTuber. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And if you are new, you are highly welcome. And also if you are a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. I love you all so much. See you in my next video bye and don't forget to don't forget to check out exclusive fails channel i'll add the link in the description box i'll put it right up here so check out her youtube she's doing amazingly well thank you <laughs> and the camera of my world. Okay. and also guys we have a new youtuber from south sudan you can check out her youtube page also she's the one recording us today our, we are camera, very, our camera woman we are very much grateful rose check out her youtube channel here she just started guys go show her support love and tell her facts sent you bye <laughs>